Welcome to Electron Online, and in our next series of videos, continuing with the general algebra review, we're going to learn how to, or at least probably not learn, but review how to graph various types of things. And we'll start out with a simple one called a straight line, and the formula for a straight line is equal to y equals mx plus b, a relationship between y and x. m, the number in front of x, is the slope, how steep the line is. If m is big, the line is steep. If m is not so big, it's not so steep. If m is negative, it slopes downward. And b is the y-intercept, where it crosses the y-axis. For example, y equals 2x plus 5. The way we grab that is we first find the y-intercept by looking at this number. And of course, what if the equation is not in this format? Well, then you want to change the equation until it looks like this, y equals mx plus b before you try to graph it. So the intercept first, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's the point, y equals 5. That's where the line will cross the y-axis. Now, will the line be steep? Well, if the, if the slope is steep, the line will be like this. If the slope is less steep, then it will be like that. If the slope is zero, the line will be like this. And if the slope is negative, the line will be like that. The bigger the number, the steeper it is. The smaller the number, the less steep the line is. So now we have to find the direction of that line. So we look now at the slope. And of course, the definition of the slope is equal to the rise divided by the run. And what does that mean? Well, the rise means the change in the y values of two points on the line. So that's the change in the y divided by the change in the x, which is equal to, uh, let's say, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. What does that all mean when it comes to slope? Well, simply said, it might be easier to look at just this portion of it. It's the rise over the run. It's how much the y values change as a function of how much the x values change. So, it tells me here that if the slope is equal to 2, that's equal to 2 divided by 1, which means the rise is 2 and the run is 1. So starting from the y-intercept, we're going to what we call rise 2 units. So rise 2 units and brings us from 5 to 6 to 7, and then we're going to run 1 unit, means we go to the right by 1 unit, so we go to one right there, and we draw another line, or another point, and we connect those two points, that gives us the line. If you want to do it again, another rise of 2, 1, 2, that brings us to positive 9, and another run to the right, that brings us to x equals 2, put another dot there. You can do it again, rise again, another two units, 1, 2, that brings us to 10, 11, and one run over here, that brings us to the number 3, and you can see you put another point there, you can just keep doing that, and all those dots will fall on the same straight line. If you connect them all, you have the line that's represented by the function y equals 2x plus 5. Again, 5 is the y-intercept, 2 is the slope, is the steepness of the line. We rise 2, run 1, rise 2, run 1, rise 2, run 1. Connect those dots and you have the line. And that's how we graph a straight line.